What's up, y'all? I am trolling through the hood, my old neighborhood, looking for graffiti and artwork and such like I normally do, which has been my pastime for this year. And of course, I have managed to make another video because it is uh, uh, my junk. It is 70 degrees right now in November in Michigan, and I could not resist writing and therefore decided I should make a video anyway. So now let's get to the meat and taters. Let's talk about some more skivvies. Let's make another, uh, let's do another review on some uh, base layers, undergarments, things that go under their clothes that aren't necessarily underwear, but are in the underwear category. Long explanation to go ahead and say compression pants. I have some, com nice, those are cool. I have some compression pants that the wife bought me for Christmas last year and uh, just got around to having to wear them on the motorcycle. I've used them for various uses running when it's not too warm and not too cold. I use them because uh, I usually wear the, uh, we call them joints, um, copper fit ankle or shin sleeves because my shins are made out of matchsticks and balsa wood. So I got crappy shins so I needed something to compress but I also didn't want to be super hot or super cold and I just wanted to try something different. So she got me the long pants long sleeve underwear and uh, they turned out pretty good they work pretty well on the bike on a scale of zero to awesome I give them a, a day I they're okay you know they're not the best it's hard to compare compression shorts and compression materials because quite literally they're all the same crap they're all like 95% polyester and 5% the label it pokes you in the back when you're trying to adjust them so these are all right they do a good job of Cutting that bite in the wind like I've ridden with these on and I would say as low as 45 degree weather and it is just an alternative to wearing straight up long johns under my riding gear. They're thinner which means I get a little bit more movement in the legs They don't make the pants as tight uh, and they just cut that bite of the wind. It's almost like a windbreaker type of effect where it's not so much that they're keeping you warm they're just keeping that cold air from hitting your skin directly when it happens to cut through the pants and wicking your body heat away from you. Um, you got to make sure you get the proper size, which is paramount for many, many clothing, not just compression wear. But if they're too big, of course, they won't give you the added benefit of compression because they just, they just, you know, they feel good. They feel good on the skin. They feel good against the body. They do give you a, you know, nice, comfy compression feeling where they're not too tight and not too loose as long as you get the right size I'm rocking a large right now these you got to kind of cinch up you got to pull them up against the body look like a dude with a waist trainer on because if you don't cinch them up yes they'll compress the legs they'll compress the thighs Boink. they will compress the shins and the calves but the giblets will not have the proper compression and they'll just be your willy will be all nilly I can't say it any better than that so you want to kind of pull these pants up they do not have a uh, custom resting area for the male parts like the belief underwear do but these are not marketed as riding pants or riding underwear they are marketed as compression pants and I am using them as such while riding the bike so I believe if this company uh, Dr. Skin of course it sounds like an adult website which it is not of course uh, <laughs> it's just that name is I don't know that name's that name's pretty raunchy. So, if they have a brand of riding pants, I do not know. I will have to go ahead and do some research, but I don't think so. Uh, the wife got me these as a Christmas gift. And, of course, it took me all year to make this review because I've not needed to use them on the bike. But, I think that's it for now. I've done enough yapping. I'm going to go find me some more art. Oh. Oh. I don't know. That's kind of... Yeah, there's too many trees in the way. I've been taking some risky... Uh, off-road stuff and of course you can see this beautiful mirror mural if I could speak as usual uh, done by Sydney G James and her cohorts I got pictures of that mural and 360 video on the Instagram if you want to go ahead and check that out but I already got that mural so I'm not gonna stop again eh, those are all right I do a lot of times skipping art that I could have got before that way I got something to go back and get next time so I don't want to get everything in one wop but so anywho Dr. Skin compression pants in the right size are good compared to any other my compression wear eh, about the same there's no added benefit getting these over anything that I've already got um, like I said they feel good on the skin they're cool but warm 
and that's it. So I don't really have a go ahead and get these, grab these Dr. Skin joints for sure. No, if you get them, you get them. If you don't, you don't. They're not paying me anything. Just saying, I rocket them, and they're pretty comfy. So that's it for now. I'm going to enjoy the rest of this warm day because, like I keep saying on my last couple videos, this might possibly be the last day, but who knows? If I get more warm weather, I will hop back on the old steed and yap some more at your faces. Catch you guys later.